what's up lovers how are you doing today today i am making a video you know i know you guys like those videos because it's so many games that these bitches are playing that i need to keep on making that video because it's so many more games that i learn that i see and i'm like oh that's game oh that's game oh oh, oh you know every day they come up with something new so here is what you need to do you need to test them to make sure that you're with the right bitch i'm sorry she might turn to become a bitch if she fails, but maybe you get a right lady right now. I'm gonna call her maybe lady today. But yes, you gotta test your girl to see if she's the right woman for you. So today I have six tests that you can give her and see if she need to still fight with her or if she need to be like you. Pack your bag, bitch, it's time to go. The bus is outside because you know she don't got a car. I mean, I hope you're dealing with people who have their shit together. But no shade to anybody who doesn't have a car. I'm just joking. Hey, hey. Okay, so let's go. Number one, this one is really easy. So today we're gonna play. You know what? We're gonna fucking play. So what you do is you with your girl and uh, your phone is dead. Supposedly, it's dead. Make sure it's on silent and no vibration. So you, you know, because today we're gonna lie a little bit. So your phone is on silent. What you do is, hey, I'm trying to look at something online. Can I use your phone? You know, maybe you guys are in the car. Hopefully she's the one driving. Or, uh, yeah, because, I mean, yeah, you're not supposed to be on your phone when you drive, right? So uh, maybe you're in the car. Maybe, um, yeah, you can't be home because your phone is dead. And it's dead because you guys don't have a charger or something. Find something. Find an excuse to ask her for her phone. Like you need to look at something and it's not like you're trying to look at her messages or anything because then you look crazy you know i've already told you don't look at women's phone because it's like yo you're securing yourself you don't need to do none of that but but we are still playing game today so it doesn't mean you're not secure it just means like you need to see if she's about you you know so let's see how she reacts when you ask for the phone especially you're not asking to go through her phone you're just asking hey let me use your phone i need to check something if she's all telling you what do you need to check well, what's wrong with your phone why you need my phone and then she start like kind of like arguing no i need my battery i need to save my battery she's gonna find a bunch of excuses to not give the phone when you're not even trying to go to the messages you're just trying to grab the phone and go online probably on google or some shit and she's like no or she's very like okay but hurry up don't use all my battery i'm waiting for a call she's gonna find all type of excuses but some women are not gonna give you the phone if she says no to giving you the phone you need to dump her right there and there you're like pull the car over get off hopefully she's driving your car so you tell her to get off and then you get in the passenger seat and go home because she's done at this point she's done or uh she gives you the phone and then uh she can look at the road no you get she gave the phone and she's like you know she's like this trying to make sure you're not going through her messages and her emails and her dms or anything this is a telltale sign guys if you ask your girl or for the girl you're talking to for her phone just to go check something and she says no or she gives it to you and but like in a nasty manner or she gives it to you and keeps on like lurking to make sure you're not in her messages she's probably cheating and uh and or doing sneaky stuff maybe she's not cheating but she got some dude she's talking to and it's weird that was number one number two maybe you guys don't live together or you do and then um she went and had fun with her friends uh on the weekend so you didn't see her the whole weekend so when you uh see her again you you need to do this in person because that's the easiest way like to see how people really react because they're gonna be like uh, uh, uh they're, you know they're gonna start stuttering so ask her so uh let's say she told you she went out with so and so whatever she was like so you you tell her how was your uh weekend she gets defensive and she's like i already told you about that or oh it was whatever of uh, nothing worth talking about just her not trying to share with you what happened that weekend is weird because probably she either did some dumb shit with her girlfriend 
or she wasn't with the girlfriend and she was with the dude and now she doesn't want to keep on lying because she already lied saying where she was going and she wasn't going with that person or wherever she said she was going she didn't go there but now she doesn't want to explain how the weekend was because it's going to be a bunch of lies because she already lied about what she did i don't know if you follow me i hope you guys do follow me on this one because I think I sounded a little weird. But anyways, so yeah, the fact that she doesn't really want to share with you what happened this weekend and yeah, supposedly it was a fun weekend. So talk to me about it, what you guys did. And this, you know, if she's like, oh, it's nothing. Or, oh, why you always want to know everything? It was a, a girl trip. Like we did girly stuff. Why do you want to know? This is a sign. Bitches will never get mad at you for asking about themselves and ask them if they, and asking them if they had a good time with their girlfriends. Never. She'd be like, oh my God, you want to know? Okay, so we did this and this. And usually it's you who's like, oh my God, bitch, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear. But I'm telling you, do the test. Ask her what she did this weekend. Number three. So this one needs to be a little setup, right? So maybe you guys are going together to a party and um, it's going to be a party with a bunch of people. Ask one of your friends to talk shit to her about you. So you ask Anthony, you're like, hey, Anthony, my man, you know, uh, when Clara comes in, try to talk to her and tell her like something negative about me and see what she says and let me know. Anthony is like, "Hi, right, I got you. So then he's like, yo, Clara, yo, dude, I don't know what is going on with him, but he's so fucking selfish. I don't like him right now. Like, you know, and then if she's really your girl, she should look at Anthony and be like, yo, don't talk shit about my boyfriend, that's one. And then if you have a problem with him, go talk to him, don't talk to me about it. That's how a girl should respond. Or she'd be like, no, he's not selfish. Like, what are you talking about? You don't know your friend, like, he's never selfish. Actually, it's the opposite of that. What are you talking about? You know, even borderline, she gets mad that you have the audacity to talk shit about her boyfriend. If she says, I know, yeah, I know, I know how he is, like, Maybe you are really selfish, but your bitch should never tell another man that, yeah, he's really selfish. Like, that's something she should tell you. Hey, you're selfish. You should change that shit. But why is she talking shit about you with your friend? No. That shows that she's not fucking with you like that. You shouldn't fuck with her. Number four that you can do. Let's say she said uh, on Monday, she said, yeah, on Sunday, I went out with Emily. And you're like, oh, okay. And she tells you a little bit about it. Yeah, we went to the club. It was cool. La, la, la. Okay, ask her on, ask her the following Monday. Ask her, so you say you went, uh, where did you go? Who did you go with last weekend? And then she's like, oh, it was uh, Julie. Okay, what did you guys do? Uh, we went to some lounge. Um, yeah, yeah, it was cool, but you know. Why the story just changed? Why all of a sudden she went to a lounge with Julie when in the beginning she told you she went to a club with Emily? This is not adding up. I'm not saying she was with the dude, but I'm saying this is a little fishy. Why the story is changing. Number five. This is a big one. That's one that you guys all should do because you guys are always complaining about being with a gold digger. So you guys should do that one a hundred percent. So you need to tell her, like maybe you're with her, you guys are in the car and you're gonna run to the gas station and you realize it all of a sudden, damn, I forgot my wallet, but we need gas. So number one, she doesn't offer, that's a big red flag. And number two, you can ask, Hey, can you spot me? I'll give you the money back. Or can you spot me? Don't even say I'll give you the money back. Can you spot me on, on this? Because I, I don't have my wallet. Mind you, you pay for all her meals. You pay probably for some of her bills, some of her clothes. And then she looks at you and she's like, oh my God, you're so annoying. Why you forget your shit? Like you're so forgetful. Like she's mad that you're asking her for some money to put some gas while she's in the fucking car. And she is driving somewhere with you, so she's benefiting from gas too, in a way. But she's like, oh my God, like she gets upset that you're asking her. Or even worse, she's like, no, I don't have it, figure it out. Yo, <laughs> that girl needs to be kicked out of the car one more time and she needs to walk herself home. Yes, 
because right there it shows you that i mean i, I know especially out here gas might be a little expensive but it doesn't mean she has to fill it up but she can like spot you like twenty dollars forty dollars like what the fuck like if the bitch cannot spot you any type of money if she's not willing to spend any type of money on you for like or you can you can do this other one too she's coming over and you're home and you're like uh hey can you stop by uh the gas station and get me like uh some water no get something more expensive because water if she says no to water she's crazy at this point but tell her um hey can you bring me a bottle of tequila because i i feel like drinking tonight you know if she says no oh i don't got the money or why you didn't get it yourself like why i don't want to make a stop she's gonna find again all type of excuses to not do it if she does that tell her to not come over we're good i needed that tequila you can get it i'm good stay home yes and number six you know when you invite her to go to like a gathering with like your friends she always has something else to do so what you do because it's weird. A woman will always want to be around your friend because she wants to be shown off and uh, she wants to feel appreciated and all of that. So she wants to be around your people. The woman that you're dealing with, if she doesn't want to be around your people, it's a problem. Maybe your family is crazy and she's like, I can take it. That's different. But if your family is cool, they haven't done anything to her, she never want to be around your friends and family, that shows really that uh, she has no interest in really getting to know you or she might not want to be known that she's your girlfriend because um, she's dealing with other people, you know, other guys, and she doesn't want to be like, you're a secret pretty much. So yeah, so this one is very simple and basic. What you do is you tell her that there is an event in advance, and then you just figure it out. You just see if she's going to show up or if she's going to find an excuse or is she like you know gonna come for five minutes and leave or if she's gonna make up an argument so you guys argue and then she's mad and she doesn't go because a woman that doesn't want to spend time around you and that's gonna find excuses to not go to an um, event with everybody your family or your friends she doesn't care for you so that's it those were six tests that you can put a woman through to make sure that she cares about you that she really fucks with you and that she's not just here for your money just just here using you and uh, being an opportunity ah, and being an opportunist and uh, maybe using you for clout anything here you have it try those try how them bitches be reacting if they react anything crazy you already know there is something wrong going on so that's it if you like this video please uh either like it or go subscribe subscribing is better so you can hear me talk all day long every day and um i know it might be a little annoying but hey and uh what else you can do you can also follow me on instagram if you want to at meli monaco and at meli love exo and i will talk to you when when to more i don't know how to do the r bro yes i will talk to you tomorrow lovers love you